counties. For a breakdown where you live, our website is always on. Click on the COVID-19 tracker. In the North Country, Congresswoman Elise Stefanik announced new federal relief funding for colleges and local airports. She's also calling on congressional leadership to offer more protections for seasonal businesses. Local 44's Devin Bates tonight has more. Under the CARES Act, relief for small businesses is determined by their average monthly payroll in 2019. Seasonal employers, however, have to go based off of two 12-week periods, none of which extend past June 30th. Congresswoman Stefanik is among the legislators looking to have that changed. They are the economic engine, and many of our businesses ramp up significantly over the summer when we have a large amount of tourists, when we have seasonal homeowners. This is about addressing and updating the guidance of the Paycheck Protection Program so that it's there to support our seasonal businesses who are just, in a traditional year, they'd be ramping up right now, um, and they're being impacted significantly. Stefanik also announced that $5.9 million in CARES Act funding will go to North Country airports, while over half of the $26 million being sent to local colleges will go to students in the form of financial aid grants. I've had numerous conversations today with some of the uh, college and university presidents about uh, how they are grappling with this, you know, what their planning is for the rest of the year and their need for additional federal funds. So I anticipate that will be a part of a future package as well. She was also asked about President Trump's decision to halt funding for the World Health Organization after blaming it for mishandling the COVID-19 pandemic. The U.S. was the group's largest contributor. I'm very concerned that uh, in the early days of this, the WHO put out misinformation and propaganda from the Chinese Communist Party, um, including false information saying that this couldn't be transmitted human to human. We know how damaging that misinformation was. SUNY Plattsburgh accounts for just over $5 million of the $26 million sent to North Country schools. In Burlington, Devin Bates, Local 44 News.